Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. In this video, I am unboxing some new Bluetti product that I received, and I'm going to be talking about my plans for the next several days while I do so. Um, so if you are just joining us for the first time, again, welcome. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in van life and traveling with a dog. So, I love Blue Weddy. Blue Weddy is most known for their power stations and their solar pan panels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I used to have a Blue Weddy EB70S back in the day, not so long ago, about a year and a half ago. But um, I fried it. I absolutely fried my unit. It was my fault because I learned the hard way that the EB70S, which is, I think it's like the 800 watt hour power station. Um, I couldn't charge it with a 36 volt panel. That's when I learned the difference between like a 19 volt panel and a 36 volt panel. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I learned the hard way on that. Um, but I also learned during that time that Blue Eddy power stations are awesome and their solar panels are even better. Um, so it's been a while, and I got a new Blue Eddy power station with the 120 watt solar panel. So I forget which one this is, but we're gonna open it. It's been um, I'm sure the units have been updated since I last did a review. And that's one of the reasons I was interested in reviewing this Blue Eddy because it's been a while. So, okay, so this is the AC70 portable power station. Okay, so we're gonna get that unboxed with this solar panel. All right, so while I work on doing this, tomorrow I am headed down to Marana, Arizona, which is somewhere that I love. I was last there at the Ironwood meetup in February. Oh, here's all of our goodies. So I'm headed down to Marana because my friend Laura, who attended my meetup and the Ironwood meetup, has a four acre horse property down there and at my meetup she invited me and any friends to stay anytime and typically her horse property is actually um, she's a boondockers welcome host um, so she often hosts travelers and van lifers on her property which is super super cool but she's letting me and my friends stay there for free so Jeez. Okay, let's get this bad boy out here. So I'm headed down there tomorrow. Oh yeah, this is nice. I love how narrow it is. This is the AC70. 1,000 watts, 768 watt hours. It looks much different than my other Blue Eddy looked, but I like it. I really like this design. I love this flat top. But again, I'll be reviewing this, so this is not a review video. I'm just taking everything out so I can look at it. Um, yeah, cool. This is going to be awesome. So while I'm at Laura's horse property, I will be playing around with this. This is my new toy for now. Um... And at Laura's horse property tomorrow, Stacy is going to meet me there, and so is Todd. Then, so we'll be there for a couple of nights, and after we camp out at Laura's place, we will um, go to, the three of us will go to BLM land, and then our friends Kara and Alan will join us. 
So it is going to be fun, fun, fun. Something that I said I wanted to do at the beginning of the year was like spend a lot more time with friends and like travel and do different stuff with friends. So this is part of that. So the five of us are going to have a blast. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Yay. You guys um, have seen Stacy in my videos and Kara and Alan. They, Kara and Alan are in a minivan, so I'll be able to show you guys a little bit more of their rig. Okay, um, I'm not gonna take this panel out right now because I don't need to, but um, this is the 120 watt solar panel, so that will go with this power station. That's what I will use to charge it. So over the next five days, while I'm down south with my buddies, I will be testing all this stuff out and doing a review on it. I'm really curious as to how the Bluetti has changed over the last year and a half. And um, Jackery is my number one recommended power station brand, but I think that their solar panels are crap. So a very close number two is Bluetti, but Bluetti's solar panels are way better than Jackery in my personal experience. So, um, to have this stuff is excellent and I'm really stoked to share, to share my thoughts on it. Now this panel, I should also say, yeah, so this is a 19.6 volt panel, whereas when I had the EB70S, I tried to hook up a 36 volt solar panel to it. It didn't work out quite so well. It didn't work out, no. Um, so yeah. All right, so I have those two things um, to review. So tomorrow I'll meet Stacy and Todd. We'll be at Laura's property. It'll be a little bit warmish. Like tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be about 82. It'll be high 70s, but beautiful sleeping weather. Um, we have a little more shade down in that area, which is nice, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to camp on Laura's property to like uh, see her home, see the dogs again. Winston will be very excited about that and to um, see some horses, to camp with some horsies. <laughs> That'll be really, really cool. I've never done anything like this. Like even though it's technically my friend's property. Well, she was a subscriber at one point. She's become my friend. Um, it's her personal property. It's it's cool to know that she's a Boondocker's welcome host because she's set up her property for van lifers and travelers to come through. So I'm excited to not only do that with my friends, but to also show you guys... Um, kind of what maybe that entails if you're looking for a boondockers welcome host. And what that is, is, um, and I'll talk more about it in another video, but boondockers welcome is kind of like what Laura does. Like you can have a property or a house or something where you go on the website and it's like an Airbnb for van lifers. Like it's a place for you to like go and camp and know that like you're safe and you have a, you have a place to stay. So I'm sure, I haven't done a ton of research on it yet, but I'm sure that each property, each place that you stay at has, you know, different fees, different nightly rates, just like an Airbnb would. But I'm also going to get like the scoop from Laura and see if that's even like, if that's something she wants to share is like her personal property where you can go online and you can book it to stay there. Um, but I'm curious to do more research about it for myself because it's like kind of like you're staying at a campground, but not, I don't know. Um, but I'm all set. My laundry's done. My groceries are done. I have my blue Eddie. I have stuff packed up. I have, um, things I need to give Kara when I see her. I have like all sorts of stuff going on. And then tonight, why is it? I just realized my indoor thermometer changed to Celsius. That's bizarre. Okay. So tonight I'm going down to Chase Field because I have an Arizona Diamondbacks uh, VIP event since this is my first time being a season ticket holder. So in a couple hours I'm going to get all my Diamondbacks garb on and um, some closed-toed shoes, which I never do. <laughs> the only time I ever wear closed-toed shoes is when I go to Diamondbacks games. 
Um, and Winston still needs a bath today. He needs a bath and he needs a nail trim because it's been three weeks and we have to get that done before we see our friends tomorrow. So I hope that you are as excited as I am for the next several days of different content, camping at a horse property with my friends. And we're in, uh, it's funny because Todd and Stacy are in like a similar type van and then me and Kara and Alan, like we're in a mini, we're in minivans. Um, so it'll be fun. I'm stoked. And I appreciate you guys watching. So thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to like this video and I will see you next time.